All right, YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, different frequencies for metal detectors, and by frequencies I mean the uh, kilohertz or megahertz that you use, um, and why would you use it for specific uh, targets or to locate specific targets? So uh, basically, there's two types you would find in metal detectors, um, and that is VLF, which is very low frequency, which runs from one to uh, about 30, kilo, uh, 30 kilohertz um, and then you get an LF which is low frequency which is anywhere from 30 to around 300 or something but um, generally speaking you know uh, VLF metal detectors will run in the range from say 6 kilohertz to uh, maybe 15 something like that there's a sort of general um, spectrum that you would find and uh, these would generally be used for um, non-specific hunting, as in coins, um, artifacts, and sort of those size type items. Um, and then you get the higher frequency, um, which may run up to roughly around 100 kilohertz, if you like, um, with the likes of uh, mine lab metal detectors. Uh, mine lab metal detectors are... Um, different to other metal tests in the way that they're actually multi-frequency so they would have uh, a combination of a lot of frequencies running from one to the other but um, you know you can buy specific gold metal detectors which run on one frequency which might be uh, 80 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz and these higher uh, kilohertz would be used to find the smaller items now generally speaking as a rule and um, the lower the kilohertz say 6 kilohertz for example along the lines of a Garrett Ace 250 something like that um, because of the lower kilohertz they will penetrate into the ground further generally speaking um, and they're good for coin sized objects um, but not so good at finding small you know if you was looking for gold tiny tiny gold nuggets you know one tenth of a gram or something um, they're not going to be anything any good for that but if you're looking for gold nuggets you know you might have a hundred kilohertz machine for example um, that actually the signal doesn't go very deep but what it will do is pick up on those very very tiny signals so you know if you're in the middle of Australia looking for your gold nuggets or or you're maybe on the fields even in this country looking for the hammer coins that uh, you know you can have very very thin silver low conductive hammered coins that might be on this side those high kilohertz machines would pick them up um, just to go off trail a little bit, you know, while I was talking about the mine lab machines that are the, you get a BBS, um, which runs from um, 1 to 25 kilohertz. I may be wrong, but I think it's between from 1 to 25 and uh, so many frequencies in between. And they're good for an all round, you know, they'll find the coins at the deeper, uh, the send out signals deeper, but they'll also find the, the smaller stuff that's shallower. So, and the, then you get the FBS full band spectrum, which runs from 1 to 100 which obviously has got an even greater capability. Same as BBS, but just uh, broadened, just better, really. So uh, I hope I've explained that as well as I can explain it. Obviously, you can go into a lot more detail, but if you're looking for, for general coins, um, then you're going to go for a lower kilohertz. If you want specific, small, low-conductive targets, gold and silver and that, then you'll have the higher kilohertz machines. Um, if you can afford it, then you're going to go and get a multi multi frequency band metal detector but um, i hope you like the video uh, as always comment rate subscribe let me know what you're thinking cheers youtube